Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul connecting with you. Today it is Monday, it is the 22nd of January, and it has been a very busy weekend for me. I don't know about for you, but a, a, a valuable weekend, got a lot done, and I'm happy to be connecting with you today. And today we're going to be talking about a very uh, little talked about subject matter. When I received the guidance on what to talk about today, uh, I was like, okay, I guess I'll have to do some flows and some research on this one, make sure I share valuable wisdom. But the subject matter will be how to develop spiritual intelligence. What is spiritual intelligence and how to develop it? And Master Shaw has talked about this in a variety of his uh, books and, and, and passing, so to speak, and more so in some of the uh, Tao 1 and 2 books, uh, but not exactly using that verbiage, spiritual intelligence. Um, it's something that, after having done a few flows on it today to understand more deeply the nature of this wisdom and teachings, is something that is innate, something that is in us versus something that is learned, which is typically what is associated with intelligence. So if this subject matter resonates with you and you feel it's something that would be of interest to paying attention to, I encourage you to stay this entire hour. As always, I am here every Monday through Thursday at the same time. Some of you may need to run and go. Uh, you just kind of stumbled across this on your uh, group. But if so, please um, like and subscribe, and then you'll know when I go live in the future, and also you'll be able to come back to my page and scroll through it and, and see all the previous recordings, okay? As always, thank you for joining, and thanks for sharing, letting other people know about this live stream. So this weekend for me was pretty busy. I was able to get a lot done uh, in relationship to my own responsibilities around the home. Uh, I'm very blessed to live here in Hawaii. It's January, and we're still going you know, to get a little rain outside, certainly not that cold. I have to wear long pants once in a while instead of shorts, right? How rough of a life is that? I'm looking at the news, and I see it's uh, people are up to their eyeballs in snow in certain places of the, of the world and the country. And uh, so I feel very blessed for where I live. <clears throat> so let's see who's checked in so far today. Welcome, Larissa, and welcome also to Lisa Bellavance. And aloha to Janice, uh, Janice Crosby. Welcome, M.A. Drade. And welcome, Kathy Arnold. Welcome, Francesca Hall. And aloha, Christine Maria. Welcome also to Farzad. Welcome, Vanessa, and welcome, Sherry Hines. Aloha. Also, welcome, Ari, and aloha, and welcome to Kristen. Welcome also to uh, Larissa. I'm already connected with Larissa. I see some comments again. Welcome, Shirley. Welcome also to Lisa Zarniak, and welcome to Criselda. Aloha, and welcome to um, Kristen Strachan. And so thank you all for coming. Thank you for hitting the share button as well. So as we wait for more people to gather on live stream, <clears throat> let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. We'll place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. We'll drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. Let us close our eyes and let us become fully present for this practice, this wisdom, and this opportunity today. Dear our beloved Divine Creator, all layers of the Divine, the Tao, and the Source, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, dear the soul of all angels and healing angels, masters and ascendant masters, archangels, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Namo Amitofu and Kuan Yin, Ma, beloved Krishna, beloved Ganesha, all other beings of light, including Mother Earth, all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes of the light side. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all. And I personally bow my head to each and every one of you. Ask most humbly for forgiveness for this or any lifetime that I have not served well. I ask on behalf of all of those watching today to please be present in whatever way is most appropriate and assist each and every one of us with this most important guidance on understanding how to develop spiritual intelligence we invite the soul of all the wisdom ever taught on developing spiritual intelligence to please come at this time 
We ask all of our downloads and our treasures to turn on as appropriate to assist us with further developing our spiritual intelligence. And I call forth and ask the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes to please join at this time. We invite and ask all souls in all universes to please serve and chant with us at this time. So for anybody new watching for the first time, coming in in a group or anything like that, we love you. We thank you for coming. This is a source song. This is a mantra. So please make a request. Receive the blessing. Uh, everybody else, feel free to join in. Chant love, peace, and harmony with me. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wai wa shin early. Wai tran ran lay. Wang li rang her musher shang. Shang I ping on a se. Shang I ping on a se. I love my heart. So I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One more round. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Woe, wash in her ling. Woe, I run, run, lay. Wangli, run, her musher shang. Shang, I ping on a se. Shang, I ping on a se. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, adjust the lighting here a moment. It's a little bright. That makes it a little bit better. Okay. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for joining. For those that are new, would like to know more about that song, uh, if you check where I posted, the lovepeaceharmony.org, you can click on that link. This is a song in which the copyright has been removed. And it is encouraged that you not only download it and make CDs out of it, that you, that you pass this information along and share it with as many people as possible. And I know most of you know that because you've heard that before. But I also say that for all the new people that are watching or listening. Uh, and for those on podcast, it's lovepeaceharmony.org. Okay. And so welcome also to Janet uh, Hoffman. Welcome, Mike Fa. Welcome, Erica. Aloha, Becky Lafave. And welcome also to Don Robinson, Aloha, Alice and Christ, and Joanne. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for joining today. And all Aloha and welcome to Monica. Thank you for joining. So I'm very grateful for your presence. Um, I'm always surprised by 
the subject matter that I am asked to share on. You know, I've been doing this live stream about a year and a half now. And when I first created it, um, I was wondering, well, what do I talk about? And so I brainstormed a list of all the different wisdoms and teachings of Master Shaw. Uh, and a lot of them were mechanical teachings, meaning, you know, uh, uh, how to open the message center, um, you know, the subject of anger, um, all the different emotions, etc. So I went through and I actually found about 75 different things to talk about. Well, there's 365 days a year. Certainly, I don't do live streams on all of them, but I did run through that list, not once, but twice. And so uh, some mornings I wake up and go, what am I going to share today? And that was about a year ago I started saying, what am I going to share today? And that's when I started receiving uh, different guidance, guidance like today, how to develop spiritual intelligence. And so there is not necessarily any direct teachings from Master Shah on this. There are a lot of teachings that directly affect spiritual intelligence. And so the first thing I did is I went through some of the books to find out where some of these teachings were. And they all boiled down to two areas uh, of our physical, emotional, mental, spiritual body. And that was the, um, the, the, the mental body was a big part of where our blockages are in, in understanding spiritual intelligence. And the other part was the heart and the heart center. And these are directly related to spiritual intelligence as well. So welcome to Paula Hyatt. Welcome also Anne-Marie Grant. And welcome Johannes Steer. So spiritual intelligence. What is it? Why is it important? And how do we apply it in our life? Well, I'm going to go ahead and start by doing a, uh, uh, a flow, which is divine guidance. And I will ask for an explanation of what is spiritual intelligence so that we're all on the same page so that we don't assume that we know what it is because I certainly was not quite sure when I received the message this morning I've done like I said two flows today to have a clearer understanding but now I will flow for you <clears throat> so prepare to receive and it's easier to receive the information if your eyes are closed because you'll get deeper understanding that way so dear the soul of all spiritual intelligence in all time ever known, ever delivered of the light side to the soul of the highest and best uh, explanation of understanding what is spiritual intelligence and any additional information such as why is it important. Could you please borrow my mouth at this time? Thank you. Hey, 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 Spiritual intelligence. resides in your heart not your physical heart it resides in the heart of your soul it is as has been said innate innate means inclusive of a part of of, infused with and within spiritual intelligence in its greatest glory is the understanding of all creation and its purest unadulterated form spiritual wisdom is neither complete nor incomplete it is in fact both it is complete in each moment 
And yet, with each new awakening or awareness of any soul anywhere and what you refer to as time and space, there is an expansion of spiritual intelligence. And therefore, it is once again incomplete and complete. In other words, the mind of the divine creator is forever expanding and understanding itself. There is a vast beyond comprehension network of wisdom that can be received by any soul anywhere in time. Think of yourself as a soul that has an antenna. Every soul does. That antenna is in essence your soul. It is in essence connected to all intelligence in all time and space. So it is not so much about comprehension or understanding, education or learning. In fact, it is the opposite because it is education and learning that slows down spiritual intelligence. One of the reasons why is because the mind of those in this dimension likes to comprehend, likes to analyze and validate. It likes to compare, judge and be critical of because that is the nature of ego. The truly enlightened being knows when spiritual intelligence has been delivered, when it has arrived, when one is bathing in it. It is a knowingness versus a comprehension. How does one develop spiritual intelligence? The first is quietness. From quietness comes stillness. When one is still, their mind is not active. When the mind is not active, there is opportunity for your soul to align to the innate spiritual intelligence that is pre-existing in all time and in all space. From stillness, there is emptiness. And it is in the emptiness that one is filled for a full vase cannot be, cannot have more added to it. But in the emptiness, one can be filled. And from the emptiness, there is the knowingness, the alignment. Those that can stay in this place, even for moments at a time, are the most blessed. For it is in these deep places of alignment where the greatest blessings occur, where the greatest forward movement of your soul on its journey occurs.
It is in these moments when heaven comes to earth. You may awaken and not recognize that you have received these gifts that are always and ever present. But in the great stillness is the great opportunity for realignment to the great source of all creation. And that is not removed upon return to the chaos of this third dimension. It is then your role and responsibility to keep your heart open and your mind controlled so that that spiritual intelligence can be acted upon through your soul and through your thoughts, words, and actions. For it is the bringing forth of spiritual intelligence into the physical plane of this dimension that all things can move forward. It is in the application of spiritual intelligence in your thoughts, words, and actions that create light and love, purity, happiness, joy, freedom, separation from pain, and all those things that are attributes of the mind and the physical world. This is the path that has been spoken of by many great beings, many great masters. And yet it is for many difficult to reach this level of stillness, of emptiness, that they can be filled. Heed these words. Da Dao Jirjen. The big way is extremely simple. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what a beautiful message. That was pretty potent. That was definitely deeper than the first flows I received, so I'm glad I warmed up a little bit. Before I started, I was tracing the uh, uh, Greatest Enlightenment calligraphy card to kind of make sure that I was uninterrupted in my flow. So, in Master Shah's uh, books, Tao One and Tao Two, uh, there are some lines that I don't have memorized at this point, <clears throat> but the English version is quietness, stillness, emptiness, nothingness. And in the Tao One and Tao Two, which is the pathway to the highest enlightenment and the highest immortality. <clears throat> there are there are just so many nuggets of wisdom in these books. Um, not so easy to understand without uh, a talented teacher teaching you. And I'm not an authorized teacher. I haven't memorized the uh, the verses and their deeper meanings. Uh, only topically learned them. But um, in this flow, that came through quietness, stillness, emptiness, and then. The ability to receive. I forget what the last word was, but it wasn't the same as the, the Dao 1, Dao 2. <clears throat> um, 
And I thought that was actually profound, that that wisdom would come through at this time. So in developing spiritual intelligence, it seems, based on this wisdom that's being shared, that the simple way is to be quiet, to be still, and then to receive. So the question becomes, what blocks us from that quietness and that stillness? Well, the answers was given in the very beginning when I started introducing this. And that is the heart and heart-related blockages and the mind and mind-related blockages. Because the ability to receive spiritual intelligence is always there. It is innate. It is within us already. The ability to connect to it and operate life from a place of spiritually intelligent thoughts, words, and actions can only occur when we clear the blockages with our mind and with our heart. Makes sense, right? And so what are mind blockages? Well, it's actually more than just negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, ego, and attachments. That's the, the default teaching. And those teachings are exceedingly wise because we all have variations of these negativities running through our life. I do, you do, we all do. We're all human. And But it's more than that. It's actually more related to what was said in the flow. Being critical, being judgmental, being analytical, because that is more ego. <clears throat> we naturally uh, discern and filter whatever information comes to us. But the awakened and enlightened person doesn't spend a lot of time in criticalness, in judgment, and in um, analysis when they hear something about spiritual wisdom. They receive it with an open mind and an open heart. And they implement aspects of it or all of it and then let time bring about the potential results. So the mind is one of the hardest parts to put aside. I myself can tell you that meditation is one of the most difficult things for me. When I'm in it, it's actually easy. It's not being in it. It's getting to the point of doing it. Why? Because my mind says I have so many other more important things to be doing. And so the mind is leading, and that is not a good thing. I see it. I don't poo-poo on myself about it, put myself in a negative position about it. I just continue to work to purify um, that that's a blockage. And, you know, I trace the cards, I do the chanting, you know, I chant to serve others, do what I can. And when I am doing my spiritual practices, I ask that these mind blockages be cleared so that I can be more aligned. So it is a process. And part of that process is recognizing that we will make these kinds of mistakes and that uh, sometimes it's not so easy to just sit down and do it. Now, there are quite a few people that that's what their favorite thing to do is. It's very easy for them to disconnect, sit down, meditate, and be in la-la land for one, two, three, four hours, a place where I wish I could go to quite easily, as easily as them. But those same people may have difficulties accomplishing tasks. They may have difficulties operating in the physical world. The key is balance taking care of our responsibilities in this physical world and taking time to be in stillness, therefore allowing emptiness to occur. That means we have to take care of our heart. We have to take care of the mind blockages that can get in the way, the criticalness, the assessing, the um, judgments. And so the heart blockages, they can be very deep. 
they can be related to relationship suffering. They can be related to self-criticalness, where we put ourselves down, call ourselves names. They can be related to uh, uh, selfishness versus selflessness. So there's a lot of heart-based blockages. And so in applying the, the wisdom for today, for how to develop spiritual intelligence, we want to look at what can we do to clear blockages in the heart and the mind on a consistent basis and what can we do to put ourselves in a place where we take time to be in stillness to be in quietness stillness and then emptiness so that we can receive one of the things that was stated at the end of the flow <coughs> was that in those moments moments he didn't say minutes he didn't say hours he said moments in those moments of true alignment of true emptiness we are filled and that doesn't go away it stays with us and it is released through our thoughts our words and our actions and so that's where the starting point is in our thoughts our words and our actions when we take responsibility for what we say and how it impacts others for what we hear did we hear it through a critical analysis a self-critical analysis wasn't meant that way most times people won't say slanderous things purposefully uh, especially if you know them they're usually you know they try to say things in a way where it doesn't cause a problem because very simply uh, they have to deal with that problem if it causes a problem so why would they say something slanderous knowing that it's going to create a reaction most likely that's not the case and so we have to take a look is there something happening with the way I'm receiving this information is there a blockage in the heart that is inhibiting higher comprehension and understanding so this is where heart blockages and mind blockages can come in so part of it is becoming uh, looking within without judgment about is there a way that I can receive this information differently or process this information differently is there a way I can communicate differently because if we were all monks you wouldn't be watching this monks don't sit down and watch internet on a live stream they sit on a mountaintop or they're out walking asking for rice or they're doing some kind of cleaning function or chore or they're feeding the master they're doing something that is not this okay sitting on a mountaintop meditating for three four five seven hours so we don't have uh, an often an opportunity to sit in stillness and quietness and emptiness we operate in this 3d world in which constantly we are being bombarded by screaming kids unpleasant co-workers uh, unpleasant relationships uh, the drama of TV and the news war this terror that uh, and the basic irritations of life financial pain and suffering so this is in our face 24 7 the solutions to life can come when we calm the heart and calm the mind when we do not create problems by inappropriate speaking inappropriate um, thoughts words and actions and also paying attention to how we receive things so that we don't create pain in our heart pain in our thinking processes when we are conscious both the offering and the receiving it will be much much easier to find the place of quietness because the reality is this is life we're in it we're playing in this playground and this playground has a unique way of making us um, always swing the bat so that the ball doesn't keep thunking us in the head we're, we're always having to do our best to not get knocked sideways by the way life comes at us especially in this very pivotal time and humanity a lot of us are dealing with our karmas and they're constantly in our face 
And so in order to be with those in the highest and best way possible, we need to apply the deeper, higher wisdoms that have been taught us. Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. Watch your thoughts, watch your words, watch your actions, and receive them carefully as well. This calms the heart and calms the mind. This is a real-world action that you can apply on a consistent basis. Just make an agreement. I'm going to watch my thoughts, my words, and my actions. I'm going to correct my thoughts if I have inappropriate thoughts. I'm going to instantly ask for forgiveness if I have a judgment or criticism about another. I'm going to instantly ask for forgiveness if I have the same kind of internal judgment or criticism towards self. I'm going to watch my thoughts so that I don't create disharmony in my heart and in my mind because that's where it begins. I'm going to watch my words. I'm going to say them carefully. I'm going to say them in the best way possible so that they don't create strife and difficult for, difficulty for me moving forward. I'm going to avoid saying things that might be um, uh, void of a full explanation. I'm have, having an argument with the person right now that they're a beautiful soul, nothing wrong with them at all. But our communication is constantly uh, like this. And one of the reasons why is because the words that are being said are not the words that are being heard. <clears throat> and so I have to look at how can I say it differently. And that person has to look at how can they receive it differently. And this is a process. So if we're conscious about our, our, our words, we can do our best to make sure that they are received correctly. This, again, ensures that nothing comes back to us that makes our heart uncomfortable, makes our mind uncomfortable. Then we are, in essence, consciously controlling our heart and our mind, our thoughts, our words, and our actions. We must watch our actions. A lot of times our words and our actions are um, they're actually a bit selfish. Now, I'm just as guilty as anybody else. So when I, almost everything that I share, it's, it's things that I'm working through also. Uh, but a lot of times our words are selfish, meaning they're saying, look at me. Look at my, look at me. I need attention. I'm doing this for attention. Um, sarcasm is a good example. Sarcasm is a way to say, look at me. I need attention. Um, our actions can be very sarcastic in ways also. You know, throwing a plate. <laughs> You know, what is that? That's saying, I need attention. You're not paying attention to me. I am angry, and this is the way I'm going to express it right now. So these unsettle the heart. These things unsettle the mind. These do not allow us to be in a place of quietness and stillness. They do not allow us to operate from our soul's perspective. They do not allow us to receive the innate spiritual intelligence that is always coming through. So we're going to do a practice now to release some of the mindsets and some of the heart blockages so that we can find a place of stillness, okay? So let us sit up straight. Let's see who else has checked in. Welcome also to Anne-Marie Pierce. Welcome Lisa Patterson. Welcome Crystal. Welcome Camille. Welcome also to Pat uh, JD. Welcome Teresa. And welcome also to um, Chantal and to here. Welcome Princess Lee. Welcome Vanessa. Uh, Aloha Shelley. Aloha also to Teresa Bolin. And welcome Phyllis Casper. Welcome Lotzia. Welcome Shirley Schuster. Welcome Linda Iloba. <coughs> welcome Ali Fess. Lila. Welcome Aloha Dimple. If I missed you, please forgive me. Thank you all for attending. Thank you also for hitting the share button. And let us go ahead and prepare for this meditation practice to release some of these blockages, okay? We start by placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart, center the right hand, gently remain at point towards heaven. Let's close our eyes. And if it is comfortable, please repeat after me. I'll walk you through a forgiveness practice, and then we'll do a practice to open our heart and release mind blockages. So please repeat after me. Dear my beloved divine creator, all the beings of light who have come for this practice today, dear my individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name three times. I love you, I honor you, I appreciate you. Deeply, deeply respect you. 
I ask most humbly for your assistance and blessings as appropriate to clear mind blockages including negative mindsets negative attitudes negative beliefs ego especially ego associated with criticalness towards others and myself judgment towards others and myself please bless me to release the need to analyze and compare for others and myself please bless me to receive the higher guidance and information without these mind blockages please also bless me all of these beautiful light beings to clear blockages in my heart bless me to more uh, to develop more my heart characteristics including selflessness honoring and respect of others honoring and respect of self please bless me to be loving towards myself and not hurtful in my thoughts words or actions towards myself as this closes my heart please bless me as appropriate to release blockages that are not allowing my heart to more fully open and develop its potential continue to repeat dear all souls in humanity all souls in all universes I wish to sincerely apologize if I or my ancestors have brought physical suffering to you emotional trauma and suffering to you mind mental trauma if we have created conditions in which you have had anxiety depression uh, severe bipolar or schizophrenic conditions if I or my ancestors have brought about conditions in which you have had significant anger fear worry sadness or grief if I or my ancestors have spoken to you in unpleasant ways offered inappropriate actions that belittled you put you down communicated in such a way that we were superior communicated with you in such a way that we are more intelligent were if we were critical judgmental in any way there is simply no excuse for this form of communication and I sincerely sincerely apologize please forgive me if I have ever made comments and it was not received in the right way I will do better to watch my thoughts words and actions to improve the way I say things so that they are received without harming your heart and your thinking to all the souls in all time that have communicated with me in these ways and more that may have caused me to have inappropriate thoughts words and actions may have caused me to close my heart to have busy thinking to analyze to judge to be critical of self and of others if you have brought into my world through being a parent a peer or a significant other in any way if you have harmed me I offer you my unconditional forgiveness release you fully and completely and ask for your forgiveness if I have been these ways towards you I am very grateful thank you thank you thank you so now we will use the calligraphy card I will chant and trace on your behalf you can chant with me so continue to repeat dear the soul of the blessed calligraphy card of Da Yuan Man the greatest enlightenment the countless blessings within 
could you please come to me to my soul bless me to clear my mind and heart blockages to awaken myself to develop my spiritual intelligence as appropriate I am very grateful so for your creative visualization I want you to visualize light coming into your entire body your mind and your heart and this light is so profound and bright that it's just clearing the heart blockages clearing the mind blockages clearing the consciousness blockages that are disallowing you from receiving spiritual intelligence and visualize spiritual intelligence being all around you and coming into you we will chant da yuan man as I trace on everybody's behalf blessings begin and I want man, die you 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 want man. Da you want ma Da you want ma Da you want ma means the greatest enlightenment 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 Da you want man Da you want man <clears throat> Da you want man Da you want man Da you want man Develops my spiritual wisdom. Da you want man. Develops my spiritual wisdom. Da you want man. Develops my spiritual wisdom. Da you want man develops my spiritual wisdom greatest enlightenment greatest enlightenment greatest enlightenment greatest enlightenment da you want man releases negativity da you want man releases judgment and analysis Da you want man releases ego blockages. Da you want man releases heart blockages. Greatest enlightenment. Greatest enlightenment, greatest enlightenment, 
greatest enlightenment. <clears throat> I want you to go deeper, go into a deep place of emptiness. Continue to receive the chanting, but see yourself as a soul meditating inside yourself, receiving the light. See yourself as a soul meditating inside yourself, receiving the light. Da you on man, da you on man, da you on man, da you on. Da you on man, da you on man, <clears throat> da you on man, da you on man, greatest enlightenment. Greatest enlightenment, greatest enlightenment, greatest enlightenment. Now I will chant very softly. I want you to ask, dear my beloved creator, can you please give me a message along with this download I am receiving for developing my spiritual awareness and then ask for a message. Da you on man, da you on man, da you on man. I will be silent for a full minute. For those that wish to stay in emptiness, continue. So for those that wish to come out of this meditative place, feel free to share what this experience was like for you. Any uh, insights, uh, wisdom that you may have received that was of value for you today? <clears throat> you know, this... Um, the service every day of, of Monday through Thursday anyway of coming together some of you know each other some of you don't some of you have met each other here but we are clearing our group uh, collective group karma so to speak uh, some of us are making new friends 
And uh, so it's a good thing each and every time you do this live stream. And it goes out and it gets shared and that affects other people positively as well. So I look forward to reading your comments. Uh, while I'm waiting for that, I want to do a calling. <clears throat> Starting February 4th, I'll be teaching a class that's called Awaken Spiritual Channels. And um, the, my biggest aha moment after all this first time I taught this uh, in a group online like this, I've taught it many times before, but in a group online, I have not done that. And I was in total control, whereas before I was teaching with other masters, it was over a weekend's. So this is, is uh, elongated over 12 weeks, which gives us a full week of practice each week of that particular energy center, sacred center, chakra, uh, channel, whatever it might be that we're working on. And one of my greatest aha moments at the end of that 12-week totally program was that many of the students that came had significant health issues, significant emotional problems, significant mind blockages. Uh, and by the end of it, they were all doing so much better in virtually every area of their life. Uh, and in many cases, in fact, in almost every case, the students were new. They didn't know much about it. They hadn't heard too much about Master Shah other than attending these. And so this was a real-life, real-time application, just doing it in real life. And uh, they are all much farther along than they were. They're now in the advanced course, actually, which just started a day ago. So I invite you to learn more about that. I'm going to drop a link uh, in the timeline here, and you can go and check it out. I've made about five videos there uh, for you to watch and information on each of the uh, things that I cover in that timeline of events. And so uh, Kristen has also posted it, so thank you, Kristen. <clears throat> and you can attend it. Um, it's on Sundays, and it's uh, 11 o'clock my time, so it pretty much meets everybody's time zone with the exception of India, I think. But every single... Uh, Zoom event, so it's the webinar, is recorded and then is accessible after the fact, which is very handy because a lot of the students want to go back. And then we do a training during the week. It's also recorded and accessible after the fact. So even the course I finished uh, over a month ago, uh, those students are still going back and, and learning and watching some of those things. So I set up all of this on my website to serve each and every one of you. So if that's of interest to you, great, check it out. If it's not, that's okay too. But do share it with somebody that you think it could be of value to. Um, so let me read some of the comments here. So welcome also to Dan Atkinson, Mamatna, to Dean Forbes. Um, welcome Judy Parker, welcome Dakota, and welcome Teresa. And uh, uh, let's see, Susan Birchmore, great to see you here, Susan. Also, Phyllis says, lots of tingling in her crown and third eye, yawning and tearing. Uh, messages and seek message and sleep dreams reveal. That was the message she got. Um, seek messages in the sleep. So this is the higher guidance she received. So thank you for sharing. Ali says, thank you, Master Paul. It felt powerful. She felt relief and grounded. Beautiful. And so we are nearing the end of the hour. So please, um, if you're interested in any of the uh, wisdom teachings of Master Shah, find him online. He has plenty of YouTube videos. He has plenty of books. And you can also message me and I can give you some guidance there as to what might be the first or best book to start with. I'm happy to serve you on your soul journey, and make sure you hit the share button if you have not already. So I will be back tomorrow, same time, same place. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. All the souls who have come respectfully return. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.